जय हिंद ऑल दिस इज असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर गगनदीप सिंह फ्रॉम अजय कुमार गर्ग इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज दिस इज ए लेक्चर सीरीज ऑन एनालॉग सिग्नल प्रोसेसिंग एंड फ्रॉम द लास्ट लेक्चर वी आर स्टार्टिंग विद द डिले इक्वलाइजर दिस इज यूनिट थ्रीज टॉपिक एंड वी आर डिस्कसिंग टूडे हाउ टू प्रोड्यूस डिले इक्वलाइजेशन विद फर्स्ट एंड द सेकेंड ऑर्डर ऑल पास फिल्टर्स in the last lecture we have discussed that to create a delay equalization we need uh, we need to follow two steps first thing first one is to find out a particular magnitude of the main filter in the last lecture we have discussed that the main filter will be cascaded with the all pass filter to give uh, a constant delay this constant delay creating a constant delay is known as a delay equalization and how they are created first of all we will create a filter of desired magnitude tj omega m we will find out its delay which is let's suppose dm we will find out its delay then we will find out all pass filter a or an all pass filter then we will uh, cascade it with all pass filter whose magnitude response is equal to 1 and its delay if it is dap it will be the overall delay that is required let's suppose it is d not minus the main filter delay that we have calculated in the previous step the this delay is known or desired uh, uh, delay and this we have calculated from the main filter so when we will uh, cascade it with this main filter with the all pass filter the magnitude will be this magnitude filter will has one response so it will be have only magnitude of the desired magnitude and delay will be a constant delay one thing uh, i want to remind again that we cannot uh, make delay equal to zero because there will be some delay from for the transmission as well as for processing for all this there will be some delay that will be obviously there as well as the characteristic of the uh, filter will also give a delay which is dependent on the frequency which is a function of frequency so first of all we will create design a filter with the desired magnitude tm then we will cascade an all pass filter all pass filter so that the total delay total delay is constant and we we have also seen uh, in the previous year, uh, lecture that this delay is dependent upon the frequency and so we have to concentrate only on the pass band of the whole frequency or only the frequency range which is prescribed or which is desired so uh, to do this one all pass filter uh, we have to use different orders of the uh, filters we have also seen that the delay is also function of n delay is also function of order of the filter so we have to use a number of filters a number of delay filter equalization filters all pass filters to cause to uh, have the desired constant delay now to have any number of filters uh, any number of uh, order of the filter we have to design first order and the second order filters so we will discuss first order filters and the second order filters which are used for the delay equalization by cascading first order and the second order filters we can design any other order of the filter so for let's go with the first order filter for the first order filter let's suppose first of all take its transfer function the general transfer function is written here 
uh, we have discussed it in the first unit and the second unit. For the all pass fil uh, filter, we know that uh, the, the transfer function is the denominator is complex conjugate of the denominator. Let's suppose uh, this is given by k a constant which can be taken due to the coefficients of s then the denominator is s minus psi 1 upon s plus psi 1. The psi is the position of the zeros and the poles. We know that the zeros and the poles for the all pass filter are mirror image to the each other or we can say that they are equal distance from the origin in the S plane. So, it is represented here the pole position here the pole position is minus theta 1. So, it pole is at minus theta 1 and 0 is at the plus theta 1. Now, if we see the magnitude of this response, the magnitude of this response is k and if we want to find out the phase, how we can find out the phase? Phase will be the denominator minus denominator phase. Now, denominator and the denominator both are equal. So, I can write it as minus 2 into the phase of denominator and the denominator. So, it gives tan inverse omega by theta 1. So, this is the phase of the phase of the first order filter. Now, uh, we know that the delay of a filter, delay of uh, uh, anything will be uh, the derivative of negative derivative of phase with respect to frequency. That means d theta by d omega. So, we have d theta 1 which is calculated from here. If we put the value of theta from here to here and take derivative of this, this will give twice of theta 1 divided by 1 plus omega theta 1 whole, omega, whole square. So, this is the delay of first order all pass filter. So, I can say that it is d of first order all pass. So, we have delay of all pass filter which is given by this value. Now, if we now we know that it is a function of frequency. We can find out it from the frequency and whenever we are going to uh, include it in the main filter, the delay uh, we have to find out its delay with the frequency. So, let us draw it for the delay versus frequency response. When delay is 0, when omega is 0, omega is by psi 1 is equal to 0. This value is 0. So, it gives 2 by psi 1. So, the maximum value is at 0 which is 2 by psi 1 at omega is equal to 1 at this value at omega is equal to 1 this is equal to this is equal to 2 by psi 1 upon 1 plus 1 by psi square and if we calculate it it gives 1 by psi 1 so it it's at one value it is 1 by psi 1 value Similarly, we can find out for the different points for the all type of frequencies and we can find, we can draw and continue for the delay and we, uh, we can find out it as delay is varying like this one and its maximum value is at omega is equal to 0 which is d 0 is equal to 1 by uh, 2 by psi 1. So, this is how the delay for the equalization for the delay with first order module is giving response. 
Now, uh, how we can create this function? How we can create a first order all pass filter with T1 s is equal to s minus psi1 upon s plus psi1 into k. For this one, transfer fun this transfer function, this transfer function, all pass filter, all pass filter can be realized by using RC components with uh, psi one psi as one by RC, one by RC as a psi one. Now, there can be two different configurations, inverting and the non-inverting configuration, so that we can also make k is equal to 1 for them and we can have a psi is equal to 1 by rc for the two, uh, for this transfer function. So, this value will have two values, uh, the values which can, be, which will give s plus, uh, plus minus 1 depending upon whether we are using this value or this mm -hmm. value. Uh, this uh, circuit or this circuit into s plus s minus 1 by rc or 1 s plus 1 by rc so we can say that psi is equal to 1 by rc for these two cases and k will be equal to plus minus 1 depending upon whether we are using inverting case or we are using non-inverting case. The two values has uh, the capacitor value changing at the different values and the two values are all values of R are taken equal. So, uh, let us take an example to see how it is behaving. Let us suppose we have a delay of third order Butterworth filter. We have to find, uh, we have to uh, equalize the delay of third order Butterworth filter. Now, some parameters must be required for this to specify this third order Butterworth filter. First is alpha max is 3 dB. When we are discussing a frequency of FC, central frequency of 2 kilohertz. So, we have frequency, central frequency of 2 kilohertz, that means we have to have to find out the omega central frequency, central uh, angular frequency omega c will be 4 kilo radians per second. And uh, we can have, uh, we have to also normalize for this filter. Other information that third order Butterworth filter, so the trans general transfer function of that filter will be given by Sn square, Sn cube plus 2 Sn square plus 2 Sn plus 1. We have discussed in the previous lecture the Butterworth filter, uh, previous unit, the Butterworth filter and the uh, its coefficients. For the third order coefficient, it is 1, 2, 2, 1. So, it is 1, 2, 2, 1, that is a third order coefficient, that is a coefficient of third order Butterworth filter. Also, the phase, if we find, want to find out the phase and the delay, uh, to find out the delay, first of all, we have to find out the phase. The phase of the third order Butterworth filter can be given by this equation, minus 10, minus 10 inverse 2 omega n by omega n cube upon 1 minus omega n cube. We have discussed it. We have derived this delay in the second unit. Now, we have magnitude, we have uh, the, the response, we have uh, the phase and now we are going to find out the delay. The delay can be found out by the negative de derivation of the phase. Negative derivation of the phase. So, we know that this is the negative, uh, this is uh, the phase response. So, if we want to put out the value over omega here, omega here. Now, one thing, this is a function of omega n. Here, we have normalized the Sn. So, we have to take derivative of with respect to normalized value. So, we have multiplied it with omega value and divided it with omega n, d omega n. So, 
with that we can norm we can calculate the derivative of the normalized value omega n so when we derivative it with this one this whole equation if you put the value of db over here is the derivative of the uh, omega n plus the derivative of the normalized frequency which will give omega c from this equation this they are print so multiplying this uh, tb by first order filter first order all pass filter this is the this is uh, now uh, again reminding how we will equalize first of all we have to find out the main filters magnitude magnitude then we will calculate its delay that is dm that we have find out given by db here butterworth filter this is the main filter delay now we have to then we have to find out the magnitude is one for the all pass filter we have to find out the delay of the all pass filter second but uh, whatever the all pass filter we are casting so so first order filter we are cascading here so if we are cascading a first order filter we have know that its transfer function is given by this equation magnitude is 1 and the phase is given by tan inverse omega n by theta 1 into minus 2 which is a general equation we have just discussed before that one also so uh, if we find out the delay of this one that will be the uh, derivative of this one Uh, one more thing here we are using normalized again so we have to multiply it with the derivative of with 1 by omega c which is the negative which is the derivative of omega n with respect to omega so we have the total derivative which was the delay of the first order all pass filter just is as in the previous case plus multi into multiplied by 1 by omega c which is you which this omega c comes due to the normalization of the frequency so this is the delay of all pass filter first order all pass filter so uh, what we want we want a delay db which varies for 0 to dbm now we have equations of all pass filter as well as the uh the main filter which is butterworth filter if we create a butterworth filters delay we have we draw it it gives like this value we can calculate we can put the different values of omega over uh, different values uh, omega for the different values of delay can be calculated and then we can draw it on this scale now when we draw it on the graph it will be easier to uh, see the equalization right now we can have different values different orders of equalization for 2.4 2.1 4.2 so that we can find out the different delays that can be there let's uh, we can take hit and trial method for these values for psi1 so that different delays can be calculated different delay curves can be calculated for all these values let's to uh, take the difference of uh, difference by use of n we needs uh, difference by use of t1 needs optimization optimum value of psi1 first take a trial value as psi1 is equal to 1 by 2 this gives the delay equal to total delay is equal to uh, 1.76 delay 1 at omega is equal to is equal to 1.76 and so on for the delays of d1 d2 can be total delay can be calculated when they are multiplied they when they are added this gives a delay like this one then we can take another delay another delay another value of psi1 let's suppose that is 1.4 so for 1.4 value this will be smaller value so when they are added up this gives a smaller value now we have two curves one is that i have highlighted other is 
this that I have. Uh, let me change. So one delay is this one and other delay line is this one corresponding to this. When they are added up with the mean filter delay, this gives this delay whereas red line gives this 1.4 delay. Now if we compare the two lines, if we compare the two lines, we can see that delay of 1.2 delay given uh, marked by black line that has that is more constant that is constant or uh, not uh, completely constant but the delay variation is almost constant in 1.2 as when compared with 1.4. So in this case we will try to have psi van value is equal to 1.2. So, when we have psi value 1.2, we can have uh, we can have delay d1 which is 1.67 which one 1.67 and d1 is equal to 1.5. There is the overall delay that we want is the difference of these two values which is 0 0.3 value. This reduction from 0 0.7 value with a significant result. So, uh, the smallest delay d total, smallest delay at omega 1 is equal to 3.4 over here, which is 3.4 for 0.4. So, in this way, we can find out that. Psi 1, when we find out the psi 1, we can find out the values of uh, the R and C. We can find out the value of R and C. When R and C has been found out, we can put it in the two equations or two circuits of uh, inverting and non inverting cases, and we can find out that equalizer of desired value. A desired circuit of equalizer can be created. So, in this way, we can create an equalization with the desired result. So, uh, this is about the equalizer. In the last lecture, we have discussed general introduction of the equalizer. In this lecture, we have discussed how equalization can be done using the first order filter, first order all pass filter. In the next lecture, we will discuss the delay equalization with the second order all pass filter. Thank you.